Today I will talk about acceleration of convergence of iteration method by Atkins. So here I am going to find the root of fx is equal to x cube minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 by Atkins method. So first what is Atkins method? Now we have to convert the equation in the form of xn plus 1 is equal to 5xn. After obtaining three result of xn, xn plus 1 and xn plus 2, obviously we have to take some guess and then we will get xn, x, xn plus 1 and xn plus 2. Then we can accelerate the convergence using Atkins delta square method. Suppose if you have the sequence of iterates xn that are supposed to converge a root x of function fx, that is the first step and then compute the first difference del xn is equal to xn plus 1 minus xn and the second difference del xn plus 1 minus del xn and then compute the acceleration factor the del n so that is nothing but del xn square by del square xn and use the accelerated accelerated iterate so zeta n is equal to xn minus del xn square by del square xn as the new sequence so this is the actually root so this is the step this is the procedure uh, to find the root of the equation now i am taking one example and i'll try to uh, tell you how that at skin method works now here okay so before that the condition of atkins method for root finding obviously the modulus of the derivative of the function fx evaluated at current iterate xn should be less than one okay so this is the condition if this condition is satisfied then it will converge or so we will get the, the roots the condition ensure the root finding method is locally convergent at the current iterate xn. If the absolute value of the derivative f dash xn is less than 1, it indicates that function fx is contracting near the root which implies convergence. So Atkins method can then be effectively applied to the accelerate this convergence. Now here is the example. Now how Atkins method works? Now here is the fx is equal to x cube minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now initial guess I am taking x0 is equal to 0 0.5 and derivative of the fx that is f dash x that is 3x square minus 3. So now check the condition that mod of f dash x0 so that is actually minus 1.5 if I take that okay so that is less than 1. So since the condition is satisfied we can pause it with the iteration process using Atkins method to accelerate the convergence. Now this is the function and initial guess is that now we check the condition and that is satisfied now we can use the atkins method now here so first given x0 is 0 0.5 and iterate using the iteration formula now we know so we have to convert this form so that xn plus 1 is equal to 5xn so we are doing that things so here xn is equal to 5xn nothing but 1 plus xn cube by 3 now compute the first difference i I told you in that uh, in that uh, theory so del xn is nothing but xn plus 1 minus xn and del n uh, del square xn so xn plus 1 so this is the same theory so what we talk about in that earlier slides now we have to do the iteration now first compute x1 now here this is the formula now x1 we we use x0 value and we are going to calculate x1 x1 is nothing but 1 plus x0 by 3 so x0 we know 0 0.35 cube by 3 so that is 0 0.375 now x2 compute the x2 x2 is 1 plus x1 cube by 3 so that is given 0 0.351 compute x3 so that is given 0 0.3478 so now we got that uh, three uh, conjugative point x1 x2 x3 now we can uh, find out the first and second difference now here first difference x1 nothing but x2 minus x1 so we will get 0 0.0024 x del x2 means x3 minus x2 so that we will get if you plug this value we will get minus 0 0.0032 now second del square so del square x1 is nothing but del x2 minus del x1 so we got 0 0.0208 now use that 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 asking method so zeta 1 is equal to x1 minus del x1 square by del square x1 so we plug this value we know x1 value del x1 square del square x1 so we'll get this value 0 0.3476 now if we compute we'll get that function value is something 0 0.002 to the, to the power 10 to the power minus 4 you can plug that and you can calculate that zeta 1 or uh, is equal to how much it is very it, it may be less than 
10 to the power 4 or maybe 0 0.000 something like that you'll get that so now this is the accelerated iterate we can continue the iteration process or refine the result further if needed okay so we can use that so now here so zeta 1 is this one we got that from this right 0 0.3476 okay we already did that so if i put this value so ultimately you'll get 0 0.002 so okay root if we if we take that as root so that value will be this so f zeta 1 is 0 0.002 so now we can take that the root root of the equation if this is the condition root of the equation is equation is nothing but uh, that 0 